Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Halo Machinima. Those of you not familiar with Machinima, it stands for Machine Cinema, which means you can make movies with video games. This can be done by yourself with one or two controllers, preferably two, and it's always a good idea to grab a friend to help out too. Now without further ado, let's get down to the steps. Step 1. Before you start any of this, you'll need the obvious, a computer. Now, as you're watching this video, I would assume that you probably already have a computer, so I'll move on. Step 2. You're going to need some sort of capturing software. It depends on what platform you decide to make your machinimas on, whether it be PC, Xbox, PlayStation, or even Wii. But for the purpose of this video, I'm focusing on the Halo franchise on the Xbox. A good capture card for starting out is the Dazzle capture card. That was my first capture card when I started out, and it was great. Maybe a little complicated on how to set it up, but I got there eventually. One thing to note is the quality. The Dazzle only records in standard quality 480p. You will have to switch from HD to standard on your Xbox in order to use the Dazzle. The reason why this capture card is good to start out is because it's pretty cheap. I don't know the exact price of the Dazzle, but that's what the internet's for. Go look it up, you lazy son of a- Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Another capture card I recommend is my current one, called the Hawporg HD PVR2 Gaming Edition Plus. Yes, I know, it's a mouthful, and if anyone turns that into a sex joke, then... High five! <laughs> Gotta love them sex jokes, am I right? The HD PVR2 is quite a bit of money, but it is full HD, 1080p. It is also over 9,000 times easier to set up than the Dazzle, so that's another upside. I can't think of any downsides to it, as I love it. I think it's great, and I haven't had any problems with it as of yet. But for more on each of these capture cards, I recommend watching a review on them. Now for the last segment of step 2, I will show you a few seconds of gameplay from both capture cards so you can see the difference. Okay, so I brought you over here to show you some improvements I made. Improvements? Yeah, I made a working turret on the Mammoth. Um... The what? The Mammoth. You mean the car? No, I mean this traffic cone. Of course I meant the car. Carlos? Yes, Steve? Can I ask you a question? Sure, I don't see why not. Can you make me a sandwich? Seriously? That's your question? Yeah, I haven't eaten since yesterday. Well, go make it yourself, you lazy baboon! Now we come to step 3, which is game of choice. As this tutorial is focusing on Halo, I will only focus on Halo. Halo 4 is the game I decided to go with for this tutorial. It really doesn't matter which game you choose. Although Halo 4 does have one upside to previous Halos. If you are making a machinima by yourself with two controllers, like I do, the second controller will have the same armor unlocked as player 1. Whereas previous Halos, the second controller had default armor and there was nothing you could do to change that. Step 4. Script writing and voice acting. You're going to need to come up with an idea for what your story is going to be about. If it is your first time making a machinima, I recommend something plain and simple. Like two dudes having a conversation. You don't want your first machinima to be something outrageous like an army fighting another army and loads of body actors in one lobby. That would just get annoying and very daunting. Especially if you've never done it before. Body actors just don't listen to instructions. Trust me on this. Now, your voice acting can be done by you or by two separate people. I like to do it by myself as I have a voice talent. If you can do voices and feel you can pull off both characters with no bother at all whatsoever, then go right ahead. Otherwise, find someone else to play the other part. Step 5. Body acting. This can be done in numerous ways. The classic Halo machinimas from the golden days of Halo were done by the players nodding their character's head up and down on the right thumbstick to create the illusion that the character is talking. Whereas most people these days don't bother with the head bobbing because it's too hard for them to do. Boo hoo! However, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that the character stands there not moving with voices playing over the top. I just prefer my machinimas to have a bit more emotion put into them, that's all. Also, a trick you can do, which most people do with their machinimas, if you change your online status on Halo to My Xbox 360, or just simply disconnect from Xbox Live, you can do a trick called weapon lowering. I will now demonstrate why it is good to have your weapon lowered. 
Hey, Carlos, stop pointing your gun at me. I can't help it, Steve. Honest, you're pointing your gun at me too. What? Uh, oh shit, I am. What the? I, I can't stop it. What the hell? But if you lower your weapon, this happens. There, that's much better. Now we can finally have a civilized conversation. Well, I wouldn't go as far as that, Carlos. Why not, Steve? Having a civilized conversation with you is like watching paints dry. That was below the belt, Steve. That was below the belt. I find it better to lower my weapon when acting out of scene, but it's really your personal preference. There are tutorials on the net on how to lower your gun for each Halo game. Remember, it is different for each game, so don't just type Halo. Make sure you type the Halo you wish to do this on. Other than lowering your weapon offline, there is another way you can do it online, in the form of holding no weapon at all. To do this, grab an energy sword and swing at an object, like a crate, in order to deplete the energy completely. You are then left with holding just a handle, which does seem pretty weird, especially since your character's got his hands sticking up in the air, but at least you're not pointing your guns at each other. Step 6. Capturing. Here comes the most important part to the making of a machinima. In Halo, there is a mode called Theatre. This tool allows you to go in camera free roam of the game you just played, and hit record whenever you need to. I will show you how to do this. Find the part of the clip where your character starts to nod their head, and hit capture on your capture card. Make sure to turn all things off on screen by pressing B. I like to put it in all one recording, it doesn't matter about the bits in between where you're choosing the next camera angle. You can edit all the faffing around in post. Step 7. Import your clips to your editing program. I recommend Sony Vegas Pro 12 as a good program to use for this. You can pay for the program, or you can do the smart thing and find a cracked version. Shh, don't tell anyone. Step 8. Editing. If you're using Sony Vegas, you have a massive toolset full of visual and audio effects, and much, much more to edit your videos with. It may look confusing to use your first time seeing it, but after a few days of tutorials and messing around with the software, it's really easy and a lot of fun when you know how. I will not show exactly how to edit machinimas in this video, but I have put up some behind the scenes videos before. Just look around my channel for them, or watch other people's videos on how they do it. Sorry I'm not showing you this, but I don't have the time to do a full tutorial. I may do a separate editing tutorial in the future, but we'll leave that for another day. Step 9. Exporting or rendering. Depending on the program, you'll probably need to do something like exporting or rendering. In Sony Vegas, you render. This process could take a few minutes, or even a few hours, depending on the length of the video, and how heavily edited it is. Visual effects layered onto your video can increase the time of the render exponentially. <laughs> I love that word. Exponentially. <laughs> anyway. The render process is simple on Vegas, and it does have a few options on video quality and choice of format. I recommend WMV, as that is one of the very few types that YouTube allows when uploading the video. Okay, so that about wraps up this video. If you have any additional questions, please leave your comments down below, and I hope I was of some help. For more videos like this, and much more gaming related content, give that subscribe button a bit of a smack on the bottom. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Carlos! Holy shit! Man. Hey, Carlos! Oh, Carlos! Carlos! God damn it! What do you want? Bye! <sighs> Stabbing him might actually be a possibility. No, Carlos! <laughs> What's so funny, Carlos? <coughs> oh, uh, oh, hey, Steve. I was just daydreaming. <laughs>
Why are we on this island? What did we ever do to deserve this? We disobeyed orders, never went on a single mission, and somehow survived our own executions. Hmm, seems legit. We have been stuck inside this box canyon for over three years, surrounded by electrical fences with no way in or out. No one will ever find us. The signal is obviously too short range to reach anywhere. Hey, Carlos, what are you doing in there? I'm sending a distress signal. Now go away, Steve. Well, you better get to work, Zero. Steve? Yes, Carlos? I f***ing hate you. Aw, uh, I hate you too, Carlos. Shut up. <laughs>